right. flew right into Center East as one of three major Navy Marine Corps rework facilities for aircraft. We do vertical lift aircraft, helicopters, tilt rotors, jump jets, uh, all the maintenance activities required on those aircraft. And then our engineering group takes care of them when they're in the fleet as well. Our organization has about 750 engineers, so we have a hiring requirement for 30 to 50 every year. Most, most students have no idea what it means to be an engineer. They may be good in math and science, but they have no idea what they could do with that. And so we started outreach programs to begin to go into the schools and to help them realize what is engineering, what could I really do with my math and science skills. We do middle school engineering camps and high school engineering camps. We do in-school activities with teachers. We do after-school activities, so robotics teams, etc. And then we do some college activities as well. So it's kind of a pipeline, building a pipeline from middle school all the way through. In 2007, we started a middle school engineering camp. We bring in 60 middle school students, and they basically do one design activity after another. A lot of times, some of the younger students, that first activity, they'll be, I can't. And then they get a little bit of help, and to see them succeed, and then just the excitement, and then it's almost like they come alive with the rest of the activities, realizing that this is truly something that they can do. For the past two months, I've been volunteering here at Broad Creek Middle School, helping with their first robotics team. I think it's really important that people that are working as professional engineers come out and talk to the students about the job that they do and also come out and do these normal little activities with them. And I think especially from my own standpoint, being a female engineer, it is really important to kind of show to younger girls that there are normal women that are working as engineers if we think about it when we were kids, the jobs we knew about were the jobs we saw. Getting them exposed to, you can be in a STEM field, you can be a machine operator, you can be an engineer, you can be a scientist. We put that in front of those kids and a significant number of those kids' eyes open up and say, maybe I can. As an organization, they were willing to put skin in the game. They were willing to invest resources to make that vision happen. And the things that you see happening in this area with STEM, would not have happened without them as a catalyst to do that. A lot of organizations, it's my experience, look at community outreach as a cost. Uh, it's a cost out of a small budget line they have to do community outreach and participate in activities. We look at it as a recruiting or training investment. Uh, if I can identify a student in seventh grade through outreach who goes off and gets their degree on their own and almost recruits us to hire them, and is going to be an employee for 40 years because they want to live here, that's a cost saving. So as we flipped that equation around to look at it as investment, our minds opened up with the kinds of things we could do without worrying about it being a cost element. So my hopes and dreams for this program is in 20 years, I'm able to come back and this program is still producing high quality engineers that are going out and making a difference in the world. Is that it's a program that is sustained and it continues to reach into the population in this local area, helping kids understand the possibility and giving them a way to realize their potential.